I'm uh, not anti meat eater. Okay. Anti dog it, eating though. Anti dog eat. Um, no. You're not anti dog eating. It's you might if it's done humanely. Yeah, help yourself, by the way. Yeah. I'm too mad if I record, I just record the audio on my phone, is that alright? Right, well? right. okay. Yeah, sorry, this oh, is okay. I've, I've got an awful voice. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Don't be silly. Yeah, so what it is, is I foster. Yeah. I rehabilitate them because yeah. a lot of them have only ever known torture sure. and cages. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, so therefore, what I do then is I get them rehabilitated so that they can then be adopted yeah. by a family. Yeah. So it's safe to say that you're against animal cruelty, like all animal cruelty. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. yes, I've got ten and dogs, cats. I've got, I've got yeah. a little dog that... dog gets put to prison, yeah. what does someone do? I've they got a little dog that from they yeah, had from right. Romania right. that they hung. Yeah. And uh, he's got brain damage. Right. And he does... You know, he's a, he can be very loving. Sure. But I mean, why? So you know, people that commit animal cruelty should be like punished, should be persecuted and arrested. Well, yes, it shouldn't go on. Yeah. Oh yeah. no, it shouldn't go on. I, I can't. I mean, I'd, I'd die for one of these dogs. Yeah. I would die. Yeah. And if anyone ever hurt them, as I say, I, I would fight to the death. Sure. I would. Um, yeah. yeah. Does this apply to other animals as well, like pigs, chickens and cows? Yes, yes. There, uh, there's no need nowadays to have any cruelty. Yeah. Do you eat meat? I'm not a vegetarian. So you do eat I meat? I like yeah. fish. Yes. Yeah, yeah. What compelled you to come and process today? Um... Seeing the videos on Facebook, yeah. um, I'm a big Facebook follower. I've seen a lot of videos on there, and um, absolutely find it heartbreaking. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. What about yourself? Um, my mum was my main influence. Yeah. She showed me all the pictures online and that sort of thing, and yeah. it really like, uh, urged, like when she asked, it urged me to like come out. You know, I w I'd rather be here than anywhere else in the moment. Yeah, so true. Yeah. So what do you think makes it? Uh, what do you think? What makes? Sorry. What happens in Newland that makes it so horrible? The way they absolutely torture them, um, I understand they, they eat meat, we eat meat, well I don't, I'm a vegan, um, we don't treat animals right here, people that eat them, um, we dreadful the way we treat animals here, I mean we do boil pigs, um, it's, it's dreadful, you know, we don't wait till they're dead before they're boiled to get the hairs off. Um, but over there, they absolutely torture them horrendously. It's yeah. disgusting. Um, I, fair enough if they want to eat them. Yeah, but there's no humane way to kill any animal. It's amazing um, you say that. Like, I'm is, a vegan myself. Yeah. And, uh, is, one of the reasons I want to like, talk to you... Are you a vegan yourself as well? No. Okay, but one of the reasons I kind of wanted to talk about this is... I'll ask you this question. Do you think that um, it's like a conflict of morals to like put, uh, to protest against dogs in Newland but eat meats in the West? I'm I'm not too sure. Like like my mum said, it's just it's just inhumane. Yeah. There's no other excuse for it. Yeah. Because your mum was saying there's no humane way to kill an animal. Is that something that you agree with? Or? Yeah, I can see that. I can yeah. Definitely. Yeah. 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 So why is this protest really important to you guys? Um, basically, because it's just. A, it shouldn't be happening. Yeah, it's cruel, it's wrong. Um, it's cruel what they do, skinning them alive. How would they feel if that was their pet and somebody did that to them? That animal that's part of your family that you've grown up with and loved, 
and they're doing that to it, torturing it, and don't care about how how much pain that poor animal is in. Yeah. It's just disgusting. It's, it's absolutely cruel. Yeah. You know, just because it's an animal doesn't mean you can do that to it. If it was a human, you wouldn't do that. Yeah, exactly. It's just a simple like thing about empathy, isn't it? Like if you want it done to you, you shouldn't do it to others. Exactly. Do you? Do you? It's do you... not part of Chinese culture. It's only ten years old. This festival. Yeah. But there's millions of dogs and cats all together yeah. being skinned and boiled and whatever they've done. It's the torture. Yeah. It's the torture. So do you, are you guys more against the torture or the eating of the dogs? Both. 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 Yeah. Both. Yeah. The whole, yeah, the whole thing. It's a mercy at the end. It's yeah. the torture yes. that's horrific to absolutely. make the yeah. tender. Yeah, you're absolutely right about that. So would you all unanimously say that you were kind of against animal cruelty then? Totally. Oh, completely. Yeah. Yeah. Any animal cruelty. 100%. Yeah. Does this apply to cats, uh, sorry, cows, pigs, yes, chickens? Yes, we're vegan. Yeah. All of you are vegan? Yes. No, I'm not vegan yet. Oh, I'm but you're working. That's it. amazing. No, I'm doing less of the dairy products. That's great, yeah. Um, and don't drink milk and stuff like yeah. that now. So I am trying. Yeah. I was vegetarian for five years. Um, but, and I do say sorry when I feed my dogs, I do say sorry to their food. Yeah. Um, because so, is, so is eating a dog any different to eating a pig or a chicken or, or a fish? It's the torture. Why the torture? So do you think that we don't torture animals in this country the same way? Well, yes, we, we're, we're not much friendlier. No, we're not. I mean, I've rescued dogs from dog fighting people. Oh, that's true as well. Um, no, we, we are not that friendly. Yeah. We just hope that we, the laws we've got does give the animals some protection. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, and we just pray that they do die, if they have to die, humanely. Do they ever have to die, though? Well, a dog can't be a vegetarian, neither can a cat. Well, a cat certainly can. I think dogs can be. No, they can't. OK. Oh, I don't own a dog, yeah, so I'll they, take your word they, for that. They, no they yeah. do not... They die. They okay. will die. Oh, OK. You cannot have a vegetarian cat or dog. Yeah. So, therefore, I have to go with one or the other. Sure, yeah. Um, and as I'm saying, I just hope that they are humanely. Mm. Uh, it's very hard. I, I like fish. Yeah. Do you eat uh, any other meat other than fish? Again, I'm trying to eat as less as possible. So you're moving away to like a, towards a vegan diet, would you say? No, no. What would stop you from going to a vegan diet? Uh, I like me fish. <laughs> um, so what compelled you to become a vegan in the first place? Um, again, on Facebook, yeah. I saw a video of uh, the dairy industry and it broke my heart. Absolutely. And I went from a huge meat eater one day overnight to vegan the next. That's amazing. And I've not found it hard in the slightest That's because so um, my eyes were opened and that was it. Yeah, when, you, when you have that kind of like yeah. eye opening moment, it was a, it was you can't a light bulb moment. That's what you're saying, a light bulb yeah. moment, because that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think that if in China millions of people signed petitions and went to the British Embassy demanding that people in Britain stopped eating bacon? How do you think that would go down in this country? Um, you'd get the people that would take notice, but no. Um, probably ignore it, wouldn't we? Yeah. If someone to do eat bacon, yeah. if someone, if people in China were telling you to stop eating bacon, how would that make you feel? Uh, first of all, I think it's very hypocritical. Uh, secondly, it wouldn't change. It wouldn't change my opinion yeah. because they won't change theirs. Yeah. Okay. So, do you think there's any difference between killing a dog for food and killing a pig for food? I feel like they they can be both as bad as each other depending yeah. on how they're killed. So, like the yeah. Yulin Meat Festival is like the worst of the worst. Yeah. So, do you know about like what goes on to pigs in this country? Like that we chop their tails off and pull their teeth out and yeah. straight them when, Rough, without any anaesthetic. I I roughly know, but she knows. Like, do you everything. think that like the cruelty that we impose on these animals is is any different to the cruelty we impose on? The, oh, they impose to dogs in Yulin because we boil chickens alive, and as your mum was saying about boiling pigs as well. I. No, I'm not sure. One of the things I like to do with these like protests, I like to come and like, chat to people because there seems to be like this idea in the West that it's unacceptable for people in China to eat dogs, but it's acceptable for them to eat pigs or cows or chickens. Not acceptable seeing anything that breeds cows. What's happening there is horrendous. Yeah, yeah. You know, for years, you know, they are raped. They are your babies are taken away from them. Oh.
It's disgraceful, isn't it? It is. Do you think that what happens in China is worse than what happens here? Both just as bad. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's all just as bad. It's all just as bad. China, Japan, with the dolphins, it's all, yeah. it's all the, the dolphins, same. Yeah. It's, it's cruelty. It's the captivity. Yeah. It's everything. Everything we do to exploit animals is... Inflicting pain on another living creature. Yeah. How these people sleep at night is beyond me. Absolutely. Exploitation. Yeah. Do you think if in China currently there were millions of people signing petitions and like going to the British Embassy yeah. telling people that here in Britain we shouldn't be allowed to eat bacon, how do you think that would go down in the West or in this country? Well, I know I, I think feel, it would but... take a long time for people to get on board with it yeah. and there'd be a lot of people against it, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Do you I think, think it... It needs, sorry, I think no. it needs to be put more in the media because we don't see things. They've only just yeah. started showing what happens so to true. these dogs. Yeah. So once it's on daytime television, yeah. that's fine. You'll... Yeah. So you think if we like spread the awareness and and teach people what's happening in our own factory farms and what oh, we do to animals? Is the key, yes. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Facebook, I think, is amazing, really, yeah. because. Yeah. Yes, because yeah. I didn't know half the stuff yeah, until, Facebook. until until Facebook. Social media has really revolutionised how we view animal Absolutely. cruelty, hasn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Start with children and educate the younger in schools. Do you think that fish feel pain the same way that a dog does? Yeah. 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 Do you think they deserve like the right to a life as much as a dog or a cat does? Yeah. But then, as I'm saying, I can't. I can foster dogs. I can't foster a cow. No. And and and. and does that mean you should? That mean it's okay to? Yeah. No. Talk? But the point of it is, is also, is are we condemning what farmer? If say everyone went vegetarian. Yeah. What farmer's going to keep a herd of cows on his land? But well, yes, no they, use to him. I guess they could change to maybe like more grown plants or find a different occupation. Yeah. But what happens to the cows? The cows could be left to roam freely. Where? On the grass that they're already on. Yeah, but they're going to turn that into grain. What, 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 they turn to grain, sorry? They turn the field that the cow is on now okay. into grain. Well, presumably... So, like, therefore, what happens to all the sheep and yeah. the cows? Well, presumably, if, if everyone did go vegetarian or even vegan, it would happen, like, over a gradual process. So it wouldn't be left that we'd have, like, a huge stock of animals left because we breed them to kill them at the same rate, don't we? Mm -hmm. So if we all shifted a vegan diet over a number of years, the number of cows and sheep and goats and so, chickens would gradually so, reduce as well. So, therefore, that's an dis extinction... Of a species, but they would still they still exist in the wild, don't they? What would? Well, cows and chickens. We breed them. Cow factory wouldn't. Farm. Yeah, cows do naturally exist in the wild as well. And we wouldn't have. It'd be up to us whether we made them extinct or not. We could ultimately have that decision, couldn't we? So if we didn't want to. We could still leave That's enough true. in the population. Yeah. But in an holistic world, everything would be free. Um, but it, it, it's as I'm saying. You've got the cows. I mean, I used to rescue monkeys okay, yeah. from the bivy section. Great, that's amazing. Um, and so I held a dangerous wild animal licence for 30 years. Wow, OK. Um, and, and I kept them... Um, ..till my old-age pensioners, till they died. Yeah. And they've all got little... As they died, they've all got their little cemetery in my garden. OK. But I would have been condemned because I actually kept them... Yeah. In cages. Ah, I see. But when I say cages, we're talking outdoor runs and yeah. heated inside, yeah. uh, so meals like in on wheels. much better wheels. conditions than they were in. Like, well, yeah, they absolutely. were in a laboratory. That, well, exactly. So you, you still did a good thing, didn't you? <laughs> that, that, yeah. But, I mean, other people would have condemned me for mm, doing that. That's interesting. Good point, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really difficult because part of why we meet in the society is because we've been told that it's OK to, much like people in China have been told that it's OK to treat dogs this way. So it yeah. requires like a whole shift of like how we've been conditioned and what we've been told. Yeah. So do you it's think... slightly different for us because as is done behind closed doors yeah. in slaughterhouses, yeah. whereas China they do it out in the open and it's a festival yeah. and people stand around and watch yeah. and they think it's fun. That's a fantastic and they, point. They, yeah. they watch it and they got smiles on their faces and they're videoing it and they think it's marvellous. Yeah, it's a really mm. good point because they like spit roast dogs, don't they? Have them? Yeah. Like, I mean, we do that to pigs as well. Like we see pigs that. Boiled in the same way, have that same crap. But we don't effect. stand around and video them slaughtering it, and it that's all done behind closed yeah. doors. And we don't. Yeah. I think if people watch that part of it, then there might be a few more people would stop eating. Do you think me? This is interesting, Richard. Do you think it's worse than people like um, know it's happening, but like pretend it doesn't by like maybe going out slow? Do you think that's worse than like people filming it? Because if you embrace that it's happening, it's kind of more like you don't have any 
of that like guilty conscience, you, you take it as it is, but if we came people to do it behind closed doors, in a way, is that worse? Yeah, because you're getting somebody else to do the nasty bit. And, and it rids yeah. us of any guilt, doesn't yeah. it? Do you think we should show animal cruelty, like slaughterhouse footage, to children? Um, I think to, an, to a in degree. a soft, softy approach. Yeah. Yeah. I think first they need to be taught that that's a cow, and if you want to eat a burger, you're actually eating yeah. a part of that animal. Yeah. And about do it, that rather connection. than giving them nightmares, actually teach them. Yeah, and maybe not where... the killing, but maybe the process, say like of of the pigs waiting to be slaughtered on, and you know trying to turn their faces away like a three-year-old would do yeah. to, to you know to think that if you if he can't see you, you know he can't see you know it's just horrendous. Yeah. What the pigs are like a a three-year-old child, and if it if it hides its face. No one can see that pig, yeah. and that's what they do. Yeah, that's the problem. We do it behind they, closed doors. Yes. We get other people to do the killing yes, for us. Yes, of course. So it's like, as a society, we've kind of got this disconnection between the, the food that we eat Absolutely. and where it's come yeah. from, and Absolutely. we pass this on to our children, yes. don't we? Like, yes. Do you think that... Um, do you, do you think that all children are born like inherently vegan and then society makes them non-vegan? They're fed by the parents. Yeah. Yeah, it's what you grow up with. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, if you don't know any better. Exactly, and you don't know any better. Yeah. Food now is amazing. Drink your milk, yeah. you break your nails and yeah. your teeth strong. Yeah. yeah. That's how yeah. it is. Yeah. drink milk as they grow up and one's a cat to one's humans. Yeah. You don't have to. Exactly. We haven't died. We're vegans. None of us have I died, yeah. How long have you guys been vegan for? Two years. Two years, yeah. yeah. Mine's not been very long. Mine's only been about four months. That's amazing. Like the fact that you made that like change is so good, and you're on the way to making that change. I'm nearly there, yeah. So you're keen to you're keen to do it. And... Uh, maybe not vegan, but definitely vegetarian. Yeah. Because uh, of my health problems, okay, but yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Sure. It's, uh, it's I a... just, I, yeah, I can't sort of. I see things on my plate, and I go, oh, yeah. no, can't do it. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. Once you made that connection, and you open the the blinkers, so to speak, you can't really close them again, can you? Do you think that if uh, in China millions of people signed petitions and protested to the British Embassy in China saying that we should no longer eat bacon, how do you think the British people would react to that? Right. Um, I'm having trouble with, say, my boys, because my boys do eat me. Yeah. So I'm on a, a fight because I'm saying to them, well, we could go vegetarian, couldn't we? And they're going, no, I'm not a rabbit, give me my burger. Right. So therefore, I would literally have to be going against my family. Right. Um, and one of my family doesn't come and see me now because I've got so many dogs there. Okay. So I alienate, you know... What do you do? I, mean, I, I can the, only do what I can do. Yeah, and I guess the thing is, like, food doesn't... I mean, that was a difficult situation. Family's always hard, isn't it? That's but, like, right. But, we've always got to understand that these animals that we kill for food go through the same amount of pain as any other animal, so... That's right. We've kind of got to weigh up what's worse. And in a sense, like, if your children or your family can come to the decision that it's acceptable for you to give up those animal products, then surely that's better than, like, it's, not doing it's either. It's not... I'm... Uh, not anti-meat eater. Okay. Anti-dog it, eating, though. Anti-dog eating? Um, no. You're not anti-dog eating? It's, you may, if it's done humanely. So it's okay to... It's culture. Animals? So culture overrides I ethics, do not or? see any difference if you're going to eat a dog or a cow. Okay, that, that's, I guess that's what I'm trying to ask people. Like, yeah. Because there seems to be a big divide in this community that, that eating a dog's wrong, but eating a cow's perfectly fine. And it's really interesting to talk to people and see if yeah. they agree. So I'm, no, I thank you for saying no, that. It's yeah. Just, I mean, and they eat guinea pigs in yeah. Peru and yeah. things like that. Um, I could no longer... I couldn't bash him over the head and eat him. No. I couldn't eat a rabbit. I couldn't eat a... Whether you want to say it's because of the pet side yeah. of it... Sure. ..comes into it. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but... I'm not actually... It's the torture that I'm here to protest against. OK, so not the killing itself. So, I, I, I can't what? I can't say it is. It's the torture. So do you... Th um, and because you I'm a hypocrite. Earlier. If I said, oh, yes, it's... I, you know, 
Yeah. I, I'd be a hypocrite. Do you ever, like, when you eat meat, sorry if I put it on the point, I don't mean to, like, yeah, it's interest. When you eat meat, do you ever think about the fact that it was an animal that, like, felt pain like you and I do, or like a doctor's? Yeah, sometimes. Like, yeah. I don't think about it often, but every now and then it will come up. Like, what would compel you to maybe, like, cut out and follow your mum on, like, a vegan lifestyle? Probably watching the videos, yeah. as she said. Like, yeah. she's been trying to urge me to do it for a while. Mm. He's um, eating an awful lot more because I've stopped buying it. Ex- so he's only eating it when he's not at home. That's now. excellent. So you want your son to go vegan as well? We all want you to go <laughs> vegan. Today. Maybe one day. Yeah? Maybe. Is there anything holding you back? Like, is it- I guess I guess it's like how you said that we've all been like brought up to like yeah. to do it. Yeah. So I guess one day I'll just have if I do get into it, I'll have to like force myself to, yeah. to do it. Because once you have that moment, the moment, there I really is no turning back. I have huge, huge guilt that I brought my children up eating me. I mean, like I was brought up yeah. to eat as well. It's the, I don't. I my mom shouldn't feel guilt. My mum still eats meat, and I would never expect her to feel guilty for doing so because it's not her fault. But it's like a. It's, it's just amazing that we live in a society now where people open their eyes and making that change. Do you think there will come a point where the world is vegan? Um, I'd like to West. think there will be, yeah. but I don't think it'll happen in my lifetime. No, probably not in mine no. either. No. Do you think it's hypocritical for people in the West to condemn the actions of those in China if we eat meat here as well? It's a hard one. Yeah. It's a hard one. Yeah. I think it's hypocritical. It is. It's hypocritical. Yeah, it is, yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. it is. I totally agree with you. Don't you worry. But we have to be careful. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to live a life where you don't view yourself as a hypocrite? Where you could live by your morals and your actions as well? Like, you save animals, which is amazing, but then you also harm Yeah, but I'm feeding... Choices. I'm probably feeding these horses. Of course, but you don't have to I mean, I, I, I feed... I, I try it by bulk. I, I raw feed yeah. my dogs. Okay. So, and I every time I feed them, I say, I say to their food, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um... And that because makes it, I wouldn't that makes it better for you, like I better on your pick. conscience, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, we yeah. live in a really challenging society, like, and it, and it, it can be so difficult to, to kind of align our actions with our belief system as well. Do you think that it's a bit hypocritical for us to campaign against China killing dogs while we mutilate pigs and other animals? No, not at all. Okay. It's up. Everyone's a cell. Yeah, 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 yeah. And. It's lots of little cells that get together to make a difference. Yeah. And today it's dogs. Yep. Tomorrow it might be the pigs right. or the cows. And would you be there protesting for the pigs and cows? I'm getting that That's way. That's great. That's so good. I am getting that way. Thank As you. I'm saying, I've gone over to virtually all dairy-free yeah. now. Yeah. Um, I'm eating more salads. I'm eating more fruit. Yeah. Um, so... That's amazing. Well, thank you so much. That's all thank right. you. I really enjoyed yeah, that. I hope yeah, that was okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm a, a God fearing person and I wouldn't hurt a fly. No. But that man, if I had a gun, I would have shot him. I, I can't help it. I, or if I had something, I would have done. Because I, I can't stand people being barbaric. But is it not barbaric then to kill animals for meat if we don't need to eat meat to survive? <laughs>